So, in this video, we are going to be solving the IGCSE Foundation Tier Math Question. And um, um, if you follow this channel, you're going to get more of these videos. So, the first question here says the table gives information about the length of five canals. So, you can see the canals on the table. Um, it says which of this canal has the least length. Now, observing exactly from this table, you're going to notice... Uh, we have the Danube Black Sea to be 95.6. We have the KL to be 98.4. The Manchester, it's 58.3. Panama, 77.1. And Suez, it's um, 193.3. Now, the one with the least length in kilometer, it's actually um, 53, 58.3. And that's um, the Manchester, that's the Manchester Canal. Okay, so that's the answer for option A. Now, the length of the Panama Canal, it's 77.1 km. Right, 77.1, correct to the nearest 10. Now, in trying to correct to the nearest 10, um, okay, we are actually approximating to the nearest 10. So, you know, in counters and tens, you talk about 10, 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s. So, is this closer to 80 or are we going to drop it back to 60? Now, notice the 7 here. This 7 here, it's above 4. That's like between 5 to 7 is approximated to the nearest 10. So this is going to be, to the nearest 10 is going to be 80. Uh, our unit is in kilometers. So to the nearest 10, it's approximately 80 kilometers. Okay, the next question says, the care canal was opened on June 20th, 1895. How many years old was care canal on June 20th, 2000? Okay, so all you just need to do is um, you need to subtract the year 2000, subtract 1895 from the year 2000, and that should give you your answer. So in performing this, this is going to be 2000. Now we're going to subtract 1895. Okay, so you can decide to do the carryover, but sometimes I prefer doing this the smart way. I'm going to subtract one from here and I also subtract one from here. So this will give me 1999 and this is going to give me one. This is going to be 894. So my final answer is going to be when I subtract this, it's going to give me five and um. 9 minus 5, 4 is 5, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 8 is 1. So my final answer, this is going to give me 2000 minus 1895. It's going to give me 105 years. So this is my final answer. So as easy as that, you're going to claim all the marks under this section. The second question says, write these fractions in order of size. Start with the smallest fraction. Now, in order to get dates in the order of size, what you need to do is create an LCM for all of them. Now, what is going to be the LCM for 6, 10, 4, and 2? Now, how do you get the LCM? So, let's perform this. This will be two, 6, we we'll have um, 10, we we'll have um, 4, we we'll have um, 2. So, now, let's perform our LCM. 2 into 6 is going to give us 3. 2 into 10 is 5. 2 into 4 is 2. We we'll have our um, 2. Yeah, now 2 can also go again, so we have 3, 5 because they are not divisible. Then 2 divided by 2 is going to give me 1, and 2 into 2 again is going to give me 1. So now you have your 3, you have your 3, 5, you have your 1, and your 1, and you have your 5. So this is your, this is 1, sorry. So this is 1, 1, 1, 1. So now my LCM is going to be 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. So 2 multiplied by 2 is going to give us 4. 4 multiplied by 3 is going to give me, um, that will be 12. 12 times 5 is going to give me 60. So my, okay, so from here, I can now put down my LCM, 60. 60 into 6 is going to give me 10. 10 times 1 will give me 10. So 60 into 10, it's going to give me 6. 6 times 1 is going to give me 6. 16 into 4 is going to give me 15. 15 times 3 is going to give me 45. Why? 16 to 2, it's going to give me 30. 30 times 1 is 30. Now from here, uh, the biggest here, 
So right, it says right on start with the smallest fraction. Now the smallest fraction here is actually six over sixty, which is one over ten. That's the smallest. Is less than. Um, the next one is um, the one with ten. That's one over six. Then the next one is the one with um, thirty. That's one over two. And the next one here it's forty-five over. That's three over four which is um 45 over 60 so as easy as that you can solve this another way you can check this is to convert them to decimal so if you convert each and every, all the numbers to decimal you're going to see that um, this is the smallest why um three over four is the biggest so this is first this is second this is third and this is a um, fourth The next question says, write one over four as decimal. Now, the smartest way to perform dates is do a long division for this. Four into one, we cannot go, so you put your zero, you put your dot, and you put your zero here. Four into 10, can it go? Yes, so we have um, two. So four times two, we're going to get eight. 10 minus eight is going to give us two. So, 4 cannot go into 2, you add your 0, 4 into 20 is going to give me 5, so 4 times 5 is going to give me 20, and that will give me, when you do your subtraction, you're going to get 0. So, my final answer, so it's going to be 0 0.25, and that's what we'll call a quarter. The next one says, write 1 over 5 as a percentage. Now, the easiest way to write as a percentage is to multiply by 100 over 1. So 5 here is going to be 1, 5 into 100, we're going to get 20. So this is going to be 20%. Now the next question says, work out 1 minus 5 over 8. Now in order to work this out, there are two ways you could choose to do this. Is that you say, convert 1 over 1 to 8 over 8 minus 5 over 8. Now this is as easy as performing just the num numerator. That's 8 minus 5, that's going to give you 3 over it as a final answer or you decide to perform the LCM of that which is going to be 8, 8 into 1 it's 8, 8 times 1 is 8 minus 8 into 8 is going to give us 1, 1 times 5 is 5 so you're still going to get 3 over 8 as a final answer and when you get all these you are going to get the maximum mark for this question. Now this question that question 3 says here's a circle with center O Measure the radius OP of the circle. Give your answer in centimeters. So in order to do our measurement, we need to get our ruler. So it said we should measure the radius OP of the circle. So I'm going to measure the radius. So if you're using your meter rule to measure um, the radius, um, Sorry, my meter rule is calibrated in the dimension. You are not going to understand, but I can tell you from here, this is um, 1 cm from your meter rule. This is um, 2 cm. This is 3 cm. So this is, um, I have three points. This is going to be 3.1234. Okay, so this is going to be 3.2 cm. So the radius, our radius is going to be 3.2 cm. Okay, so that is the radius for it. So the next question says the point Q is 2 cm from O. The angle between OP and OQ is a right angle triangle. Mark with a cross X a possible position of the point Q. Label the point Q. Now, notice it said Q is 2 cm from O. So it's possible. Um, and it says it's a right angle triangle. So, knowing if you understand your right angle triangles, um, you need to understand that a right angle triangle is always formed this way. So, I'm going to measure 2 cm exactly either up or down. So, I'm going to introduce my ruler back. So I want to flip my ruler. So um, that's so from here, I could either get um, this point. Okay. So hold on. 
so this is my 2cm i'm going to mark here x or i could change it to this place so this place this is also 2cm either i could mark it x so it could be any of the solution you could either choose to mark it up or you choose to mark it down okay so let me minimize my ruler so it's you can see it is straight so if i could decide to do a dotted line to trace it so you can notice this is what 90 degree or it could also be here so i can choose any of these points so i could choose either this the upper part or the down part so anyone you choose is going to be correct so once you level that part so i'm going to choose the up part and i'm going to call it my q so this is going to be my q so i chose the upper part so you could choose down during your own case whichever one you take it's correct so it's a mark with a cross x a possible position of the q and label the point q and that we have done so that should earn us our two marks so having done that we'll be going to question four question four says the bar chart gives information about the volume of fresh water made per day from seawater in each of four countries in 2015. Now you could see that the vertical bar is showing us the volume of fresh water made per day from seawater in millions. And uh, we have the horizontal bar showing us different countries. So now we have a bar chart. So question A says, write down the volume of fresh water made per day from seawater in Saudi Arabia. Now notice the calibration, we have um, one, we have two, three, and up to 10. So notice, Saudi Arabia, it's nine. Now, you need to understand how to read each of these boxes. Now, we have five boxes and um, we have nine to ten. So, each box is going to be a 0 0.2. So, the next one is going to be 0 0.4. The next one is be 0 0.6. The next one is 0 0.8. And the last one is going to be one. So, this is going to be uh, for Saudi Arabia and it's going to be a what? It's going to be a 9.2. So, in order to write that, so for Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia, it's going to be that's um, 9.2, um, that should be million, don't forget to put your units, it's compulsory. Okay, the unit is already written, so you just need to write um, 9.2, so our unit is a million meter cube. More fresh water was made per day from seawater in UAE in 2015 than was made per day from seawater in Spain in 2015. How much more? Now we want to get the difference between UAE and Spain. Now, UAE gave uh, from here, we can see UAE. I'm going to trace it down to this spot. UAE, it's, uh, we have um, 8.4. Then Spain. We we'll have uh, this tracing Spain. We we'll have um, 3.8. So we are going to look for the difference. So how much more is going to be UAE minus Spain? And that's going to give us, that's, um, let's check the figure again. That's um, 8.4 minus 3.8. So this is going to be 8.4 minus 3.8. So that's going to be, um, that's when you perform your 8.4 minus 3.8. It's going to give us, borrow one from here, here it's going to be 7. Put one here, 14 minus, it's going to give us 6. And we have 7 minus 3, and that's going to give us 4. So we are going to have 4.6 million meter cube. Okay? So the last question says 1.7 million meter cube of fresh water was made per day from seawater in Qatar in 2015. Draw a bar on draw a bar on the bar chart to show this information. Okay. Okay, so in order to put this in my diagram, um you know that this is 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and this is 1. So this is 1.2, 1.4, this is um 1.6. Sorry, this is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is 1. This is 
246 1.6 so it's going to be in between this line so you need to understand that um 1.7 is going to fall in between 1.6 and 1.8 so that's why my line is in between so i'm going to do a shaded line here to confirm my answer so having solved that you are going to get the mark for the question so that is going to realize you four marks for question four now here is question five which says here's a list of numbers 12 14 15 16 18 20 22 and um, 24. Now this question says, A says, which number in the list is a multiple of 6 and 9? Okay, it's a multiple of both 6 and 9. Now, um, okay, so 12, it's a multiple of 6, but it's not a multiple of 9. 14, it's neither 15, nor 69. Now 18, if you check 6 times 3, it's going to give us um, 18 and you have um, 9 times 2, it's going to give us 18. So, 18 is actually the correct answer. So, that's the multiple of um, both 6 and 9. Now, it says two numbers in the list are factors of 90. Which two numbers? Now, let's find the factors of 90. So, I'm going to divide it. So, this is 2 into 90, that's 45. 3 can go, that's um, 15. 5 can go, that's... Um, the 3 can also go again, so that's 5, then 5 can go, that's 1. So 90, it's going to be 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. Now, any number within this range, you can multiply out that gives you one of the answer. It's a factor. So I have, um, let's check um, 2, 2 times 3 times 3. This is going to give me um, 6 times 3, that's 18. Do we have 18 there? Okay, so that's 1. So what other number can I get from here? I can do 3 times 5, and that's going to give me 15. So the two answers are 18 and 15. So they are the two factors of 90. So check it out. 15 times 6 is going to give you... Um, 15 times 6 is going to give you 90, then um, 18 times 5, it's going to give you 90. So both are factors of 90. Now, the next question says, write down two numbers in the list that have a sum that's a prime number. Now, if you recall prime numbers, prime numbers are numbers that have two factors, itself and um, 1. So, um, I think... When we check, but this time around, you need to check the sum of the numbers. So I think when we sum 15 plus 16, it's going to give us um, 31. And 31 is a prime number. Let's check. Okay, let's check if there's any number that's going to give us a prime number. Okay, I think 15 plus 16 too. Okay, no, 15 plus 16 is already done. Okay, so um, another number we can look at. Uh, okay, I think 14 and 15... Okay, so if you look at 14 plus 15, that's going to give you 29. So, two numbers, I could take 15 and 16, or I could select um, 14 and 15. So, two, the two numbers are going to sum up a particular prime number. So, that's the answer. Okay, so um, if this is your first time of coming to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We're going to be solving some other questions that's um, from question 6 down to the end of this question. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the notification bell so that you can get more of this from us.